Guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Today was a horrible day in the stock market. Honestly, I'm going to chronicle some of the uh, the things that people really need to take into consideration when their uh, investment portfolios are, are succumbed to such large losses like they were today. The Dow was down over 800 points. Um, my, my stock portfolio took an adjustment back of $4,772. Um, didn't change my attitude or approach toward life. And I think you guys can really live a little bit vicariously through me. The folks that have been following me for a long time know that I talk all the time about not letting emotion creep into investing. All right. So if you were out there and you lost, you know, a few hundred dollars in the market, maybe you dropped a couple thousand today in the stock market. Certainly the lessons that you can take from the independent investor channel is knowing to stay long on your program. Take advantage of these dips in the market, all right? I'm gonna identify five things in the stock market and by nature of just the choices that we make really can determine whether or not we're successful or fail in the stock market. Guys, if it's your first time tuning into the channel, please subscribe to the, to the message here. Uh, let's jump right into it. Guys, the first thing you wanna do on a day like today is pause, okay? There is no amount of short selling that you can do uh, to make up for the losses that are going to be uh, happening on a day like today. There's, there's nothing you can do, all right? Now, I say all the time that when selling starts to exacerbate like it did today and go down as quickly as it did, that is really people panicking and hitting market orders uh, to dump their stock today. That's exactly what's going on. And you want to take a pause, okay? When everybody else is running for the hills, you want to just ignore it. And that's exactly what I did today. The only thing I'm really disappointed about is not having the opportunity to buy some stock, which is exactly what I would be doing. We'll talk about that here in a second. But for you guys that are new to the stock market and you're looking for some validation as to why you're doing what you're doing, trust me, stay steadfast in your program, guys. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. These things, they come and they go. And I say all the time, one day in the stock market does not make a market. It doesn't. It means really absolutely nothing. Okay. It doesn't, but there are some benefits that can come from, uh, from this. I've been through this before many, many times, um, and been investing over 20 years, been, been through this many times. And I'm so hardened now, um, that I don't bat an eye when this goes on. As a matter of fact, I, I like it in that I, I look for further opportunities. All right. But the first thing that you want to do is really just take a pause. All right. Reflect on the program. Reflect on your long term goals. Reflect on why it is you're doing what you're doing in the first place. All right. Reflect on maybe you. Um, this gives you an opportunity to evaluate how much exposure that you have to the stock market. Maybe you want to redefine your risk tolerance a little bit. Maybe it validates your program and you're like, wow, you know, I, I listened to Ryan. I didn't expose that much capital to the stock market. And here I might have been given my opportunity to dial down 3% in one day to maybe pick up some stock a little bit. When we get to number two here, all too often, folks want to focus on the amount of money that they lost in one particular day. Um, and that's really a big, big mistake. When I'm talking about sticking to the plan, you guys really need to focus on the amount of shares that you have, all right? And if you have a few holdings with 10 shares each, then that's what you focus on. Because I contend that yesterday, those 10 shares were still there as they were here today, right? So you want to make sure and focus on the intangible right, piece to the portfolio. That's the part that doesn't change at all. It remains static or it builds over time. right? So you want to make sure and you're focusing on that part of the portfolio that is actually unchanged. right? Number three is you do want to consider buying on a dip like today. Now, you don't want to go whole hog and buy the farm on one day. But you do want to look at taking some of that expenditure cash that you have put on the side that I'm always talking about and deploy this defensive strategy. And when everybody else is running for the hills, hitting the sell button, right, because they're getting emotional on the short term about, about stocks, you might want to consider stepping in and buying. Today might have been the day to step in and put a few bits into the VOO, right, down $11. That would have been a perfect opportunity to maybe, maybe buy up a little bit on some VOO here. Um, so, 
you know, I'm giving you the reverse philosophy on how you should be thinking about approaching the stock market, you know, and not following the masses. You really want to be contrarian in your view and look at the stock market pragmatically and definitely not emotionally. All right. And look at maybe picking up some of those positions um, that you've looked at entering for all this time, which we haven't had very many buying opportunities um, even this year in the stock market. You want to consider buying a little bit. Again, you don't have to buy everything all at once, but certainly look at adding a, a little bit more of position power into these stocks when they're down so big, all right? Number four, this is the most important thing, never sell, never sell. And if there's one thing that I can push out to my community out there and they listen to me and they respect my opinion, all right, I've weathered these downturns before. I really have. You need to fall back on the strength of the stocks that you've entered into, all right? and never sell, never sell, ever. When something like this is going on, always, I'm not saying don't ever sell, but never ever sell when the stock market does what it's doing today. Again, it's that short-term validation at the expense of long-term financial goals being met, right? And you never ever wanna give up those long-term goals for, for short-term um, satisfaction. You never wanna do that, so never ever sell on a red day like today, all right? The last thing I wanna talk about that you can do, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, I talked about this a little bit in deploying some defensive strategy in the stock market, all right? You're not gonna be able to enter into the stock market and succeed if you're not mentally tough. Now, maybe some of you can, all right? But you're just making it that much more difficult on yourself. When the stock market does this, all right, Put your mind on a something else other than the stock market, okay? I don't watch it. I don't pay attention to it. I wish I would have had the opportunity to buy some stock today, but I, I didn't, so I ignored it. And what did I do? I ended up going and punching the punching bag for a while. And that may seem a little bit cliche, but honestly, when, when the stock market is doing something like this, remember, that's just a piece to your overall spiritual health and, and well-being you know, as a person. That's just a small segment. So while that's going into chaos, maybe work on some of those other segments there and deploy some of those defensive strategies. Maybe strengthen your spiritual health. Maybe go to yoga, right? Maybe go to the gym and lift some weights. You'll be amazed at how much more clarity you'll have when you start to deploy some of those defensive strategies that I talk about all the time, guys. We were down $4,772.20 and I'm still smiling, guys, and I'm here for you guys um, delivering the message. Man, those are real dollars, all right? I don't fabricate this stuff. That's what it was today. Um, I don't make this stuff up, man. This is real money. This is real investing, all right? And as a self-directed investor, man, I take my lumps with my successes. You only hope that there's gonna be a lot more successes than there are lumps to today, and today's a day that is forgettable, and I will short, shortly forget this day ever happened. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if it's your first time tuning into the message, man, you gotta subscribe to the Independent Investor channel to share the message out there, man. We're, we're building our channel through word of mouth. That's the best way to do it, man. If you like with what you hear in the sincerity of the message, share it with your friends and family out there, man. I'd be glad to have them as part of the community. Leave your comments at the bottom, man. Drop your dollar figure, man. If you dropped a few hundred dollars today, man, um, but you're still holding tough in the stock market, I'd love to hear those comments. Review them in the comments section of this video. Certainly hit the thumbs up button for me, guys. It helps support the channel, man, as we start to grow and share this message. And like I say always, man, good luck in your investment future.